Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video about how we do the playoffs in this league. So let's go back to our league. All right, so basically it's three draws, three period draws. And the player must draw three periods in which he was active before he draws three periods in which he was not active in order to qualify for the box score. So I'm going to use a player from the Saints, one that I know. Let's go with uh, Tory Craig here, because he's a good example. So Tory Craig played for two different teams this year, Phoenix Suns and my team, the Saints. So what I do to figure this out is I use his service time. So what I do is I... I make three random draws and to find out where he was playing during those 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 uh, periods is right here with the service time. I find that he was inactive during uh, period two all the way through period 10. So if I drew two through 10, that would be considered a DNP. From uh, period 11 to period 27, he was with the Suns. So I would know that if I drew one of those periods that I would go to the Phoenix Suns to find his numbers. And then he was inactive again from period 28 through period 33. If one of those was drawn, it would be a DNP. And then from period 34 all the way so far to the end of the season, he would be with the Saints. And that's where I'd find his stats. So the way I find his stats is I go to scoring. Let's say I drew period, uh, let's just randomly think of one here let's go with 28 I believe you're in 28 if I'm not mistaken he was with the Saints so I would go here and just search the Saints out and then I would find his numbers here as it turns out he did not play for the Saints during that period see that would be a DNP. So let's say the next draw I made was period, let's just go with one from earlier in the year. Let's go with, uh, let's go with 15. At that point, I, I think he was with uh, Phoenix, so I just search out the Suns, find their box score. And there he is, Torrey Craig, 3.9. And I just keep doing that until I had three periods either where he was a DNP or three periods in which he played. And he would get the average if he played. He would get the average of those three draws. Okay, I'm going to show you guys something else here real quick. This is how I, this is how I make the draws. Um, let's see here. What I did was I bought these numbers that you see here. And I bought a couple decks of cards, and I use a, a card shuffler like this one here. So you can see that. That's the kind of card shuffler I have. I have one in my storage. I'm going to go find it, and if I can't find it, I'm just going to buy one like this. But this thing is an electric shuffler. It just shuffles the cards real nice and easy. I do it several times. I cut the deck several times for each time I'm shuffling the two decks. I have two decks of cards, so I think it's about 106 draws. Uh, from about week 27 on to the end of the season, there's three draws per per, per period. And then uh, for the periods before that, there's two possible draws. And that's how I shuffle the deck so that everything's nice and random. And what I did was I bought these labels, these number labels. So you can see I, I pasted these on, on the card. So that I can easily refer to, you know, I can find out which week I'm going to be searching for from my random draw. Pretty cool. I just want to show you guys this so you knew how I did this whole thing. And then, um, let's see what else I have here. Oh, yeah, here's the trophy. I've already bought the trophy. So this is what we'll be playing for. It's a nice little trophy. It's about six or eight inches tall. Pretty cool little deal. There'll be like a you know a plate here telling who wins and you know what the series was or whatever. But that's the trophy we'll be getting. 
And that's pretty much all I have for you. I think I showed you everything I wanted to show you. I just wanted to show you how I make the random draw so you knew how it works. Again, the player has to have been playing for a team in this league during the period in which his stats are drawn for him to, you know, get a draw there. If he was like a free agent or maybe injured, then obviously he's not going to get He's not going to get a draw for that. If he was if he was injured, but he was active on your team, and it's just a zero because he was injured, then that's considered a DNP. So if the player is played, generally they don't just put up a zero; they they put up a negative score or a positive score. That will be considered an active draw. But if it's a DNP, it's a zero, or he's just not active. And like I say, you get three of those before you get three active periods. Then he doesn't play. He's a DNP. If he gets three active draws before he gets three inactive draws he's eligible to play in your playoff game. And it's pretty much that simple. So that's about all I have for you right now. If I have any other thoughts, I'll try to make another video so you guys can can know more about this league. Um, other than that, yeah, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I mean, I think next year we're definitely going to play 82 games. And I might tweak the scoring system a little bit, but that's going to need some thought in the offseason. We'll see what happens on that front. If I did, it's it's going to be something I'm going to put by you guys first and make sure everybody's happy with it. So at any rate, if you know anybody who wants to get in the league too, just let me know so I can get their get their information and get them signed up. Uh, we should have a good draft in the off season. I plan on doing the draft as a live thing, so uh, we're all going to have to coincide in times and uh, get together. You know, for an evening draft, it usually doesn't take more than an hour or so to do it. Uh, we have keepers, of course, in this league. So, you know, our, I think our draft is going to be about seven to eight rounds. And I plan on giving everybody more time this year, like five minutes per pick. And I know that most people, you know, most of the time people aren't going to use the whole five to make their picks. But I want to give people enough time if they need it to make a thoughtful pick. So that's it. Talk to you guys later.